Alrighty, what's up guys? Just wanted to jump on the mic real quick before the actual content of this video comes up. So all of this was filmed back in December of 2021 when we were there on vacation. At the time of me talking right now, it's August 22nd, 2022, so call it 8, 9, 10 months later, and we're finally getting around to editing, uploading this video. Like I mentioned in past uploads, stuff just gets lost in the mix. I'm actually busy with life and work and all this stuff, so I don't get a chance to make YouTube videos as much as I'd like to. But in this case, this is a piece of content I actually wanted to get out. I've been traveling a lot more since, you know, peak pandemic, so you could expect some more things to come out of the archives, hopefully over the next few weeks or months. I also did want to note, the only sneaker store that I missed out on, just because we didn't have enough time, was going to Truist in Hawaii. If you guys are familiar with them at all, they're sort of this legendary buy, sell, trade, resell shop out there, and they always get the craziest things. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time, but hopefully next time we go to Hawaii, we'll check it out. And if you haven't been to Hawaii before, definitely recommend it. If you're actually interested in going, be sure to hit me in the DMs on Instagram at Stuff Don't Likes. Happy to send over recommendations, and if not, just follow me anyway. And we'll kick to the video right now. Hello everyone, another day, another video. This time outside of New Jersey in a more tropical climate. We're in downtown Waikiki. See some nice stores there, Balenciaga, Rolex. We're here to pick up some sneakers actually. This is sort of a break in our vacation. I had entered a raffle on Kith for these Call of Supreme Blazers and I just so happened to win them. So we're gonna go pick them up, put in some B-roll clips on top and you know, we'll have ourselves a day. All right, well, we got yeah, them. I got that. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got them. We weren't able to record inside, which is a bummer. Maybe it's because it was before hours. They said pick up between 9 and 10. They open at 10. But we got them. We'll probably go back at some point within our trip since we're not too far. Um, just shop around and stuff. So hopefully I'll put in some clips. Otherwise, we'll go back and talk about them. 24 hours later. Super windy. Another day. Uh, it's kind of interrupting our plans. I hit on another Kith raffle for the Cool Gray 11. So this marks the third pair that I actually have. I sold off one, so technically I'm now at two. And then I just won this morning at Champ Sports on their new raffle system. Hopefully you can hear me. It's really windy, but it's been a fruitful morning. I got to really figure out how I'm going to get these back home. I don't know if I'm going to ship them or stuff them in my suitcase or like dismantle the boxes. Who really knows? But we're back to Kith. Another thing too is they do their drawings between 9 and 10 a.m. I think I mentioned it yesterday, so it's before the store opens. So we actually haven't had a chance to explore the store either. We've just been having an action-packed vacation, you know, because that's what we're actually here for, not to buy stupid sneakers, but... Yeah, they keep the, they keep the line outside the store. They keep the line outside of the store, and you can't shop around, um, obviously, because it's before store hours, so... Who knows, we have dinner reservations in Waikiki tomorrow. So maybe we'll check out the store before our dinner reservations then. Someone left their luggage, that's extremely suspect. It's also the day of the Honolulu Marathon and we have an action-packed day that doesn't involve sneakers. Um, you know, actual traveling and exploring stuff. So we'll see how the traffic goes, but either way, I'm gonna concoct this into some sort of Hawaii video, so aloha. So I need to go upstairs. I won't get too close, but there's already a line. I think they start to let go of pairs after 10 a.m. First come, first serve. So people are actually lining up outside of Kith for them. Um, I'm going to run upstairs though and get my secured pair, which is awesome. And then some more narration, actually. <laughs> Around the corner from the store is the Kith Treats, which I think we're going to try to hit to at some point. Um, you can see there they have like the Kith Miss Milkshake um, and all the uh, various ice creams and stuff. So super cool. Oh, there's the menu. Hopefully I could get that <laughs> on a pause. Here's the back entrance, super cool. And then if we shoot up the escalator here, it'll bring us to the second floor. Here's it inside real quick. One long angry line later. So we secured the bag and I was actually walking through the complex here. It's a little streetwear vintage shop here called Harbors Vintage. Definitely gonna have to check this out at some point as well, but they got some cool things out. Guava Union 4s. University Blue Four is a bunch of bunch of hype stuff, so super cool. Again, downtown Waikiki. Bag was secured. Gonna go explore what Hawaii has to offer now. This is like day three or day four of our trip now, so we've had a lot of stuff to do. These sneaker things were just a little side mission, so very appreciative that you know we're able to do this. And I guess while we're walking down the main strip here, this is a sneaker channel after all. Here's what I have on feet. 
the New York City to Paris Jordan 1 Nike SB collab type thing. Um, I brought these, my New Balance 550s, the multicolors, and then my triple white Prestos as a hiking shoe. Shout out to everyone at the DMs. I was very concerned. Uh, and me hiking with triple white Prestos. That's the point. We're getting those dirty and then we're going to clean them up. So it's all good. But yeah, Hawaii. Here it is. Several days later. All right, it's been a few days now since we made those purchases. Still haven't gone to Kith yet, but hopefully I've had a chance to visit the store because then I'll splice in the footage and any other footage that I get. Um, we went to Bait yesterday. I didn't buy anything, but it was a cool shop. We were talking to the guys over there. They mentioned it's not as big as like, you know, the big city ones like Seattle, San Fran, all those other locations. They don't really get much. I still haven't taken a look at them, so we'll go through those real quick. Random assorted pickups from Ross. Ross is really big here. There's Rosses everywhere, which is crazy because there aren't really any by us. Um, in New Jersey, so, you know, if you're doing adventures during the day and then going out at night, I severely underpacked in the sense that you need 2x the amount. Here, uh, for anybody that's into coffee, got a few bags of 100% Kona coffee, if you know, you know. Very expensive, but from my understanding, it's very worth it, so. Got a few bags to take back home, and then we'll hit these Kith bags right now. So, figured I'd do it too while the room was clean because it's been a mess, um, and we finally got housekeeping, but... This is the first one. The attention to detail is awesome at that store. They're very thorough with their processes. As far as checking out the raffle releases go, um, again, it's before store hours, so you can't really do much before. And there's the receipt. You get these teal colored themed bags, which I believe is the theme color of the uh, Waikiki store. Those Air Force Ones, the Kith exclusive ones to, to this Honolulu area is that same blue accent color. But anyway, this is my first time taking these out again. So it's Nike Blazer Low, Sakai Cause, color of Purple Dusk, Lagoon Pulse, and White. Retail price was $140. So with Hawaiian sales tax, it came out to like $145, which isn't all that bad. Got the Sakai Cause X's on the top of the box. Got the fun box paper and the shoes themselves. So these shoes have been taken out of the box before. They take them out and check the size tags again as part of their thorough processes that I was mentioning, but this is clean. These are really, really clean. 
I didn't realize it's in all leather upper as well. I thought it was like the iron gray and British khaki color that I have where it's like a suede at these main parts, like the mid panel and the toe, but these are in all leather. You get a bit of suede up the eye stay. The colors are crazy. I'm not sure if this is my favorite color of the four colorways that have been released or announced. These are definitely a cool pickup for sure. I like the blazer low. I'm gonna place them on the bed. Why not? They're brand new. White rope laces. And here is the other one. So I didn't even bother entering any raffles or entering the sneakers app the morning of the draw just because, you know, I was guaranteed this pair and I didn't need to double up for sure. Especially since I have those two other pairs of Sakai Blazer Lows at home. But wow, love that double lacing too. It's a purple and that yellow. You get that plum, the blue, which actually matches that bag a little bit. Super cool. So definitely stoked on these. Not sure what resale is on these. I don't think these are hitting for too much, but at the same time it doesn't really matter because these are a souvenir for me for sure. Um, so that's the first pickup from Kith. And then of course the second pickup here, you could already tell by the two-piece old school Nike Air box, but we'll take them out. It's in here the receipt as well. Same thing, they just wrap up the receipt in this little Kith piece of paper. And then boom, let's open these up. Um, again, I've already had a few pairs of these, so this is really nothing new to me. But a crispy, clean pair of Jordan 11 retros in the highly sought after cool gray colorway. So this is the third release of the cool gray colorway. First in 2001. Then in 2010, which is what I vividly remember them from. I was like a freshman in high school. And then now, now that we have some money, we could buy them. <laughs> just the idea of owning a sneaker back then of even over $100 was just not a thing for me. So fortunate to grab these on vacation. Fortunate to grab them in general. Fortunate to have multiple pairs of them. Very, very thankful for this because these are definitely going to be keepers for sure. We still have a few days here. I think the biggest trouble now is trying to figure out how to get this pair and that pair into that suitcase, especially since, we, again, we have a few days left. Not sure what else I'm gonna buy, whether it's souvenirs or sneakers and streetwear related stuff. I hope not, because really don't need all this stuff. So we're gonna wrap it up there. If you guys like videos like this, be sure to let me know. Follow me on social, follow me on eBay. I'm selling a lot of the collections, so be sure to hit me there. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoy, see you in the next video. Peace.